Everybody Road! I am your co-host, Daniel Perez, back at it again, episode 18. Yeah, and I'm Messi Morales, and we are on Qualify Heroes. Let's go! This is a bonus, well, actually, uh, it's not a bonus episode, <laughs> so we already said it was episode 18, so too bad. Uh, not a bonus episode, but it's a bonus day, special day, because we're talking about not Secret Invasion, episode 4, we're talking about Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part 1, the movie. If you haven't seen this movie, it's okay, you can still listen to like half our podcast because there's so much news to talk about that happened since we last talked and if you're not caught up with it then you that's why you should be following us boom i just put in that plug follow us youtube (laughs) instagram snapchat not snapchat just kidding um threads we're on threads now yeah that's right uh go follow us nobody's there yet so like we every time we post something it's too new uh but yeah we're everywhere then you can catch up but if you haven't caught up we're gonna tell you about all this news that happened and you're like oh dang crazy enough almost all of it happened yesterday like i don't know if uh studios are just competing against each other and they're like you know what what if we just all drop it on the same day uh or i think some of it was part of the reason because mission impossible is coming out or came out so they wanted to have some trailers within their, in the movies, preview to Mission Impossible. Although I, maybe I showed up late to the trailers, but I didn't see any of those new trailers for Mission Impossible. I didn't either. Uh, so I was like, I don't know, why do you release it? Whatever. Uh, at least why do you all release it on the same day? Weird. But yeah, we're going to be talking about the news. So messy. Uh, I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna mention the first piece of news, and oh man, we could start anywhere. Let's start. Let's start with Deadpool three. This is big stuff. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Tell tell the world some Deadpool three updates. After twenty three years, we're finally getting a comic book accurate yellow. Wolverine suit and Deadpool 3. There were some leaked photos of them, I guess, fighting in a desert area, whatever, according to the photos. And we see, we see huge Jackman as Wolverine in the iconic yellow suit. I can't wait. It. I think from all the Marvel movies, yes, we're hyped for everything, but this is this is the movie that everyone cannot wait for. Cannot wait. The movie. A hundred this is gonna be the one of the this Do you think it'll be bigger than No Way Home? With Hugh Jackman? Probably. So this will be the biggest movie since Endgame. Probably. Most likely, by the time it comes out. So this far- is huge. This is huge. We're getting multiverse, like the the the, the better multiverse. Fun yeah. fact: This is just a rumor. I don't know if it's one hundred percent true, but that they're gonna literally make fun of the Flash multiverse. Well, Deadpool specifically is gonna make fun of the Flash multiverse, and that this time era is set in uh, the Doctor Strange multi, Doctor Strange two multiverse. So they're also gonna make fun of that because. There's a rumor that that Wolverine is from Earth A three eight. So, mm, from a, oh, that can make sense. That yeah, can from A three eight because you're, that's I don't his know if Professor remember. X. I don't even remember this. I I talked about it here on the podcast. A cool uh, end credit scene for Doctor Strange was is showing the original um, characters from the animated uh, TV show. On live action, but showing only the the bottom feet, which they all wear yellow suits. Mm. What if yeah. it ends right there? Like this movie can pick up right there, Logan being on top of um Professor X, dead. It's like shit, and then Deadpool comes around. Poof. That's how. That's how they bring him. That would have been cool. That would be cool. Yeah, but. So we're get we're getting comic like 
I remember when they opened the box in the second Wolverine movie and you just saw that yellow suit and you're like, yes. And, and then nothing never, ever happened. Never because <laughs> it's just one of those things that you just get blue balls for. You know the last time we saw Wolverine and Deadpool together? This was the last time we saw Wolverine and Deadpool together. That was in the first Wolverine Origins movie and it was... It was, it was something. It was something. So... Yeah. This is this is this is gonna be so good. There's gonna be so many good jokes. Um, the cab driver, the taxi driver from the original Deadpool movies, said because they're not done filming, but they've been filming, and he said that this feels just like the other two, which is good to know because you and I both know Disney acquires stuff, and sometimes they yeah. just. Yeah. They Disney it up. They Disney it up, and you're like, bruh. So a- having actors say, like, dude, this feels exactly just like it was before they acquired it, it's good to know. Um, I'm less less worried when, even even when uh, Ryan Reynolds said in the very beginning that, yes, it's, it's owned by Disney now, but Disney is not touching Deadpool 3. Because we we will we, the first thing that we were scared about when Disney bought Fox was Deadpool being PG thirteen. Yeah, that, that was, was scary. That was one of the first things. It's like, damn, they're gonna bring and it we're back. like, bro. And even though, but they don't, kept it on. They kept it on. Exactly. Even though it will be like, okay, they put it PG thirteen, whatever. Play, put them to play with other characters, but you can't. It's uh, it's Ryan Reynolds. You can't censor the dude. Right, not not on his own film. Exactly, not on, you can't do it on his own film. And so it's just it's just good to know. And I, I you didn't I don't think you touched on this, but we saw a behind the photo scene of them fighting with a broken Fox logo in the background. Yeah. Rich, bro, this is the real multiverse. All the other multiverses, trash. This is the real multiverse, baby. I know, uh, I'm pretty sure you you might have said, I might have said as well, that we were tired of the multiverse. Maybe off air, maybe on air, I don't know. But this, we're not, I guess we were tired of the multiverse, but not really, because we're excited for Deadpool 3, so. I mean, okay. It's going to be good. Let, okay, let's talk about a little bit about that, of why we hate the multiverse so much. One is 100% a cash grab. That's it. That's one hundred percent what it is. They don't care about us. They don't want. They all want money. That's it. But we wanted the multiverse. We wanted the multiverse, but probably a different way. Not the way we wanted the multiverse in a way that we would care about the multiversal characters. They're bring the my my issue personally is that they bring in multiverse characters, but they don't have enough. They don't now have enough like meaning behind them in the movies or st- in or shows or whatever it is that whether they die or whatever happens to them i'm just like eh, i don't really care because there, there's just there's no meat behind the story of those characters i want multiverse like like andrew and toby when they came in to me they they filled part of the story so i liked when they came in because they had like if one of them died like when I thought Toby was gonna die at the end that actually impacted me I was like oh my god Toby when Professor X and the rest of the people died in one division I was like okay there was no meat behind them so I I just need more story if you're gonna add multiversal characters to actually make me care about those characters don't just throw them in just to throw them in okay I disagree with you on that let me tell you why let me tell you why because ah. because if if they only bring all characters back from all previous movies yes we love it because we grew up with Hugh Jackman we grew up with um, Toby and Andrew we grew up with all the Fantastic Four uh, the the first two not the crappy one with um, Michael B. Jordan um, we grew up with those characters, and and now they're bringing it back in here. And then, yeah, I guess oh, they have a like you said, a meat. They have juice. They have something to that we care about. But 
again, it's a multiverse movie. They can't always bring people back because then it's just nostalgic. We're just watching it because they're they're back. That's it. No point to the story whatsoever. All multiverse of madness. They brought new characters. They are the same characters on our MCU, but different people in it. So you're saying the only way they had for you the story though. They have they're the Illuminati. So you're saying the only way for you, Daniel Perez, Why do I... to care about characters is if they already existed, existed and you already saw them on previous movies, and they're not new characters. No. That no. Illuminati. I am did. saying I'm saying they need story within whatever film or movie they're in. There for the example, Ill- the Ill- the Illuminati, they were not there for that long. We got we got this much story with the Illuminati, and then they died. So I had I had I didn't couldn't care for them enough. If they were if we had them throughout most of the movie, and then they died at the end, it would have a bigger impact to me because I watched more of them throughout the film. But if you're just showing up for a piece of it and then leaving, whether you die or just leave, there's nothing for me to care about. I don't care if you're a new or an old character. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Professor X is not a new character. And I didn't care when he died because there was no story. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of story with him that we know. Because there's no story. He's but we don't know that because that, we don't know what Professor X that is. The animated one, I think. We don't know that. Exactly. You think. You got no story. Period. No. I still- <laughs> That's not the, the, the point is there's, a, there's just we, – we're excited for this movie. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. The next, next piece was – Actually, before trailers, Superman Legacy. Oh. Superman Legacy got ah. some casting updates confirmed by James Gunn himself. This man is confirming things left and right on Twitter like he was Donald Trump back when he was president. And you're just waiting <laughs> for the next piece of news because that's how everyone got their news back when he was president, whether it was fake news or not, whatever. I'm not trying to get political. I'm just saying Donald Trump tweeted a lot, and James Gunn tweets a lot. That's all I'm trying to say. Uh, <laughs> trying to make a joke. Point is, he did three, <laughs> three casting announcements. Actually, it was four. I personally don't m- know much about the fourth one that came out today, but the major three, Hawk Girl, Mr. Terrific, and Green Lantern were casted. And I have, some, I have something to talk about on one of those. But I'm going to go ahead and say the castings. Hawk Girl is Isabel... Isabella Mer- Hot Girl is Isabella Merced. Mm-hmm. Mr. Terrific is Eddie Gothgetty. Gothigy. I don't know. And sorry, can't pronounce it. Green Lantern Death is Nathan. We got Death and Failure on DC. We have the Uncharted. We got Drake on the house. I'm excited for that cast. We got Nathan Failure. Sorry, I'm a huge fan. I see that. So, <laughs> first off, Hawk Girl, she's very cute. Secondly, you have a wife, sir, and she's right behind you, looking at you on your wall. <laughs> I am going to tell her to listen to this episode. Secondly, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to talk about Green Lantern for a second. <laughs> And Nathan Fillion. He, we know James Gunn likes to reuse yep. actors. Reduce, yep. reuse, recycle, baby. He was on baby. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. He was on Guardians of the Galaxy. He was also on The Suicide Squad. Yep. Two things to note about that. Died very quickly on both those films. He didn't die on the Something Dolphins. else. He didn't die on Guardians. He did not die on Guardian, sir. He survived. He 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 got floated up with all the other guards. He got beat up. He got beat up. He didn't die though. Point is, point is, the point is, Nathan Fillion. If you let, let's look at this picture. We know Superman is a young guy. You look at where's my camera. These two other people, very young. Especially this one right here. 
<laughs> Nathan Fillion is pretty old. Let's be real. Pretty old. I mean, Green Lantern. Look, 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 look. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Listen, 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 listen. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. I'm, 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 I'm hyping up. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm leading ahead. up to it. Go like ahead. A, like a, I just gave you the appetizer. This is the main course. Go baby. ahead. Go ahead. The main ahead. course. He's going to die. He is not Jon Stewart. And Jon Stewart is going to be the main Green Lantern of the DCU universe. My theory, he is going to be... Uh, what I say? I, what I say? He's... I don't know. You told me to shut up. So I, I am waiting for you to finish. My bad. My bad. I'm saying that he is Hal, and he's going to be replaced with Jon Stewart. I don't know if that's what I said. He is Hal... He's going to be replaced with Jon Stewart. And that this Nathan Fillion character is going to die because DCU wants young actors. He's going to be too old by the time... By 2025 is when the first Superman comes out. By the time Justice League comes out, his own Green Lantern film comes out, 2030, 2035, this dude's going to be old. He's going to die. We'll get a new Green Lantern. My theory. Are you done? Can I speak now? Yeah. Okay. James Gunn said there's already superheroes on his Earth universe, whatever you want to call it. How and Jordan, whatever his name is, they're not the only humans Green Lanterns. Or, I don't even know if this guy is a human Green Lantern. Being said, there's more than one Green Lantern. So, if this guy dies, this guy survives, it doesn't really matter if he's old or young. Yet again, because there's more than one Green Lantern. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I just I just had to. But, <laughs> point is, if, if Nathan Fielding comes in and dies, whatever. He's cool. He's awesome. He's Drake. He is Drake. He is Drake. I don't know if y'all saw that short film with him being Drake from Uncharted. It's pretty better. It's, it's way... No, it's not pretty good. It's way good compared to the movie. Because he actually looks like Drake. I did not see that short film. It is I didn't even good. know there was a short film. Look it up. He did a short film before years ago when people wanted him to be Drake. My point hmm. is, whatever if he does it, if if he dies or not in the movie, it doesn't really matter. Because, like I said, there's more than one Green Lantern. Obviously, obviously, he's not the main one, like you said. He's not Hal. He's not Jordan. But he's a Green Lantern, and they're gonna use him because if he's old, that means he's from before Superman was like the OP version of Superman. So like even on even on Zack Snyder um the Zack Snyder um Justice League when we saw that cutback years ago when Darkseid came into Earth and all the uh gods like Hercules and all them there's Green Lantern people there. Like so there's Green Lanterns years and years before Superman was a thing. So doesn't matter if the age because they're gonna like you said they're gonna kill him off anyway so I still think he'll die I mean probably everybody's gonna die eventually Superman <laughs> dies Batman dies Wonder Woman dies Aquaman dies they'll die I, but I think he'll die on screen you think he'll die within the five seconds of showing up no, not that soon. <laughs> you mean, oh, hi, <laughs> hi, guys. Bah! He'll die within probably the first film that he's in. You think he'll show up in Superman? Actually, yeah, he's going to show up in Superman. Because that's part of the Superman cast. They're all showing up in Superman. I wonder how, how is he going to do it. I, I honestly do. because this is. How do you have all those superhero characters in the film? Exactly. What if it's just quick? What if it's just a quick, like... Probably, yeah. or Because he said there's other the characters in there. Yeah. So it could either be at the end, 
which wouldn't make sense. It would make a lot of sense. Or it could just be at the beginning, just like, what just if, to fill you in, there's characters in the other what, universe, like in there. What if this people that there, this group that we have already is G is the Justice Society, the reboot mm. of the Justice Society, because we already saw the Justice Society with Black Adam, on the, yeah. those characters. What if this is the new character? Because we saw Hawkman on that movie. Now we're seeing Hawk Girl on this movie. Um, so Hawk Girl is much better. One hundred percent. She's in the original Justice League. Yeah, they all are. Not Hawkman. Yeah, he is. Not in the show. What show? Not the animated show. The animated show. Yeah, Justice League. Yes, there he is. He's not in the main Justice League. Hawkman is not in the main Justice League of the original animated show. They all are. Every single, every Start freaking, season one, every, episode one, and he is not in there. Every superhero on freaking DC has touched being part of the Justice League at least for one mission. I'm not talking about one mission. I'm talking about main cast. Oh, probably. Not main cast. Like, it's not the main cast. I think Hawkgirl is more popular than Hawkman. That's why I said Hawkgirl's better. Then why, then why did they put him on the movie? Because. The movie sucks. The there movie you go. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> they put the suckiest yeah. characters. Even though they put Dr. Exactly. Fate. Except Dr. Fate. Yeah, Dr. Fate was dope. I wonder if there'll be a Dr. Fate in this universe. That'll be interesting. I mean, they can because uh, so- he died. Yeah, but that universe don't count. Yeah. He said the first thing that's canon, he actually said this today, the first thing that is canon to his universe is Superman Legacy. Nothing is canon until Superman, even Blue Beetle is the first character, but it's not canon to his, to his universe. I don't get that. If it's not canon, how is he part of the universe? I... Just because they want to keep the actor. They already casted the actor. I mean, but it doesn't doesn't really matter though. Like, if it's not canon, then what it is? is it Elseworld? Even though it's part Can of we... the same universe, if it's in the same universe, it's canon. It's not gonna be the same universe. Could be Elseworld. You could have the same actor in multiple universes as we see in Doctor Strange. Yeah, but then what would you say? Blue Beetle is the first movie of his universe. But he it's didn't not... say it's the first movie. He said it's the first character of his universe. Same thing. It's a movie based on him of the character. So but they, a character is not recap. a plot. Movie is a plot. Okay. So they're gonna keep the, the what what he's saying is we want to keep Sholo as Blue Beetle, but the plot anything that happens in that plot most likely useless. I'm pretty sure it's like Shazam, like those movies. Shazam is connected, quote unquote, even though he is never really shown over there. But it's, it's connected. I don't know. It's up to interpretation. That's the way I interpreted it. Let's get to some trailers. Finally. We got three trailers in one day. And I actually, I want to talk about a fourth trailer. Because I'm not 100% sure we might have. I'm not 100% sure we talked about this trailer. Did we talk about the Dune 2 trailer? Uh, no, but it's, that's been out for... For a while. It's been out for about a week and a half. Yeah. About two weeks, actually. Yeah. We didn't talk about it, so we're going to talk about it right now. Dune 2 trailer. I just want to say, I don't know much about Dune 2 mythology. Or Dune mythology. I know it's long as heck. And the book is long as heck. And everything's long. Here's what I'll say. I didn't like Dune 1. But I know it served its purpose. Dune 1 was building up a story because of how much story is in Dune. So, I just don't like slow movies, which is why I hated it. However, I'm actually excited for Dune 2 because I think there's going to be a lot of action in it. Or like a lot more stuff going on in it. And I think we see that in the trailer. So I'm excited for Dune 2 more than Dune 1. Dune 1, I I just watched it just because... I just watched it just to watch it. I I, yeah. I saw it, I saw it only because of the cast. I didn't care about the story. Even though Zendaya was only there in the last. They juice they juice every second of her on the freaking marketing. <laughs> it was so annoying. 
The last five minutes of the whole movie is just her. So bullcrap. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Do you have anything to say about Dune? I, that's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to bring it up. Dune 2. It's coming to theaters with Timothy, Chamele, whatever you say his last name. Um, it's, I, I don't know too much about the, the whole franchise. All I know that like, he's in it and he's a cool actor. Um, but talking about Timothy, jumping ship to another universe. Oompa, 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 oompa. We, we, Wonka is getting his own movie. We got the Wonka. It's, Timoth- it's Timothy's world. Yeah. Two movies. Two trailers. Does Dune 2 come out this year? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't th- I think it is. Let me, let, me, let me look it up real quick before, before we talk about Willy Wonka. Dune 2 comes out this year in November. Dune 2 comes out first, and then Willy Wonka is on Christmas Day. Oh, it's Timothy's year? world. Of this year. Both nice. of them are this year. Nice. So November and December is going to be Timothy's World. Yep. Back-to-back movies. Box office is going to be high. Uh, I think the last time someone had multiple movies in the box office was... Come on. You can't remember. You know his name. I don't remember. You know his name. I don't don't know. You know his name. Come on. He just got allegations. They're almost thrown into jail. Yeah, Jonathan Majors. Yeah, three movies. With Creed 3, Ant Man. What's the other one? The vo- Devotion, the plain one. The, the knock, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The knockoff of, of, of Tom of, Cruise. Of, Top yeah. Time. yeah. So, three straight movies. This dude was in the box office forever, and now he's somewhere else forever. But, just kidding. <laughs> that was messed up. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> the point is, Tim is Timmy Shelley. Yeah. Let's talk about Willy Wonka. Let's talk about Willy Wonka. Interesting trailer. A very, very interesting trailer. Not at all how I thought that trailer was going to go. At all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be real with you. That trailer completely caught me off guard. It was way more um, fantasy, fantasy, I don't know the word, way more fantasy than I thought would be in this Willy Wonka universe. I, I mean, I know, obviously, Oompa Loompas. But when they were, like, flying in the air with whatever potion he created and all this other stuff, I was like, not what I expected. Interesting. Yeah. I, it was too Disney for me. It felt like a Disney movie. I don't know if Disney is making I don't know who's making this movie. Um, it should be Disney. It's Willy Wonka. Uh, let me double check. Probably Warner Brothers. I think it's Warner Brothers making this movie. Um, You're right. Warner Brothers. Yeah. Um, but it felt like a Disney movie. Like I, I, I think it it's, did. I think it's a musical. I don't know. I saw some like, I think like some musical moments. Um, I don't think it's a musical though. There I, might be like a musical moment, but yeah, that's what I, I. That's like saying Willy Wonka is a musical. It had multiple musical moments, but it's not a musical. Because they sung every time a child, a child dies. Right? Yeah. I call it. I they die. They, they're just ghosts. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I was just, I was really excited when they announced it for the first time a couple years ago. Now I'm less excited because I am not a really big fan of musicals and Disney movies just in general like that. I will, I will, I'm gonna watch it because my fiance is gonna make me watch it because she loves musicals. So I was like, I'm not gonna fight her on it because I make her watch my movies. So I'm just gonna. But it's Timothy, so I'm going to still watch it. He did sound a lot like a Willy Wonka, though. I will Johnny admit. Like, like a Johnny... Like, when I think of Willy Wonka, I think of Johnny Depp. But his voice in that trailer was actually really good. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, and we saw Oompa Loompa at the end. I thought we'd see more Oompa Loompas. But, like, throughout the trailer, we only got at the very end. Which I guess it makes sense. It's like a teaser trailer, official... I don't know if it's an official trailer or teaser, but it makes sense. I mean, if it's a teaser, they showed a lot for a teaser. I guess that's true. Yeah. Yeah, I, I will admit, though, I am less excited for this movie. However, it's still Wonka. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I've always wanted like a longer origin story than just the 
couple minutes they have in the Willy Wonka movie. And yeah, it's it's more, I, I don't like fantasy in the real world. Like Opa Lupus was okay, but then they were adding too much fantasy. And I was like, I'm not, I don't. I don't feel I mean, like Willy Wonka is a fantasy movie. Like, do you think I, of the original movie with Charlie poor and doing all this, and then like it just felt like real world, with the exception of Oompa Loompas, which is like from this <laughs> other world. But this like, doesn't feel like real world. Everything is normal except for Oompa Loompas. But then they explained it like they were just like from another country, like somewhere in the in the country. Do or they something do like. they explain where they're from? I don't remember where they. In the in the first in the Willy Wonka movie, yeah, they did. The, but the it was only one? for like, yeah. A question. The one, the Johnny Depp one, the Johnny Depp one. Okay, that's not the original one. I, I, that's my well, my, not the my question. Do you think this origin story is for the Johnny Depp version or the original version? Honestly, I don't remember the original version very much. I just loved. I every time I watch. Go to rewatch the movie or watch the Johnny Depp one. Johnny Depp one. Because that one is called Charlie and the Willy Wonka Factory or something like that. And the, the original mm. one is just called Willy Wonka's Factory. It's without the Charlie part. Mm. Really? Wait, is Charlie not in the original? He is, but he's not like... It's, it's a remake of the first one, but the, 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 the second one is mostly focused on him. If uh, I remember okay, right. Okay. If I remember right. If you're listening to this... Judge me because I saw the first one <laughs> one time, really, really young. So I seen the second one, the Johnny Depp one more. So I think- yeah, I seen the second one a, m- a million times, but the but the original one I haven't seen much. It could be, ba- it could. I don't think it's gonna be based off the Johnny Depp one. I think it is. He looks a lot like Johnny Depp though. He does. Uh, so I, he the- does. So that's all. Was- and I like his suit. Yeah, just like Johnny Depp. I just- I, I didn't like the fantasy aspects that they were adding to this. I mean, I mean, it just made it feel less real, dude. Dude, you gotta also think about how you gotta rewatch the Johnny Depp version to see how much fantasy it is on that movie. I think you're, you're not forgetting. much fantasy. I think you're there's forgetting. not much fantasy. Okay, take away the fact that there's Oompa Loompas in a chocolate factory. <laughs> take away that fact. There is squirrels. There were so many squirrels. Acting like squirrels? No, not squirrels. My accent. You know what I'm talking about? The little rat, furry rats. The furry rats. Dope. Not squirrels. 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 There you go. I can't say the word. Y'all can suck my nuts. There was a bunch of them. They were like attacking people and all that Like they look super fast. Squirrels attack people in the real world. No, they don't. If they you, do. You ever seen Phineas and Fur? Not squirrels like in my pants. <laughs> not like that. You know what I mean. You know what I but mean. But that's not that's not like But and then again fancy. a whole girl blew up blood like a whole balloon. A blue balloon. Okay. How is but that that's not fantasy? Inside, that's inside the chocolate factory. Anything inside the chocolate factory doesn't count. If it's outside the chocolate factory, fantasy is only allowed inside the factory. How about that? Okay. I don't want I don't want fantasy outside the factory. Okay. It's just me. That's just me. Okay. But I like the trailer. I like the trailer. I just got a little bit less excited. I think both can be true. Ahsoka got a trailer too. Ahsoka also got a trailer. An official trailer. Because the last one was technically a teaser. No, actually this was the second trailer. Was it? Yeah. It was the it was, second trailer. It was, it was, yeah. So Ahsoka got a trailer. What do you think about this Ahsoka trailer? There was there was some name drops. There was a lot. There was a lot of name drop without the S. They mentioned that name a lot on this trailer. They mentioned that name, that special name. A lot. My favorite <laughs> character. The best character in all of Star Wars. Arguably the best character in all characters. Anakin Skywalker. They they said Anakin. They didn't say Vader. They said Anakin. They said like three times, four times in that trailer. Yeah. They said a lot. And that was just in a trailer. I wonder why. how many times they mentioned. I wonder why. Uh, 
I grab wonder why. audience grab. <laughs> of course, that's it. That's the only reason though they they will do that. Um, but we also saw. I think there'll be flashbacks. I think there is because um, when Obi Wan Kenobi was showing up, rumors rumors were said that he was also going to be appearing on the Ahsoka show. So yep. flashbacks could be a thing. I don't. He's not dead at this point. He's not dead yet. You mean he's not Vader yet? No, he's Vader, but he's not dead yet. No, no, no. He's not dead. Exactly. So Vader still can show up. Yes. Yeah. Like Vader can show. Vader, Vader can Vader. show up. I don't think he'll show up though. One time, it's fine. Hologram. I don't care. It's still Vader. And, uh, and the, yeah, but I don't think there'll be a Vader fight. Oh no! No 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 no! I, I'm I'm happy with what we got on Obi Wan Kenobi. I, There's I can't not going to be a Vader fight. I can't wait. But 10 more years. I do think there'll be an, an <laughs> ten <laughs> more years. Oh my god! Every soul. There'll be. A, I think there'll be an Anakin flashback. I want Clone Wars flashbacks. That's what I want. That's what That'd be I phenomenal. want. A scene That'd with Captain Rex, fucking Obi Wan Kenobi, freaking dude. Everyone. Oh my. Mark Gregor needs to come back for this. He needs to, he needs to I don't show th- I don't think he's going to be He in needs to come back, too. He I don't think he's going to be gang, in Bro, I, I want to see the whole gang. All three bro, of them. If you see all, if you, what if you saw all of them in one scene together? Live action? Oh, my Live God. Live action. I will, if you saw Hayden standing next to e- 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 Ewan, standing next to Rosario Dawson. I say, I will just <laughs> take me Just now. die? There's nothing else to watch because that was that will be the perfect moment. It'd be your childhood come true. But live action cannot get our host up because yet again is Disney and Star Wars, man. Disney and Star Wars. Disney and Star Wars never fails to let us down. <laughs> Sucks. Except but- seven. I liked. I like seven. Season I like seven. The Force Awakens. No, I was oh. talking about The Force Awakens. Oh, but know. Season 7 is also pretty good, too. Season 7 of Clone Wars is pretty good. But the trailer was pretty good. We got uh, Thrawn. I think that's how you his name. The blue Thrawn. guy. Thrawn. A lot of footage We of actually Thrawn. saw his face on this time. He Not looks, just the back of his head. He does look good. He, yeah. He looks good. CGI looks good. I don't think it's CGI. I don't know if it's CGI or if it's practical, but I hope it's practical. it looks good. I hope it's practical. I don't care because it looks good. It looks good. I think it's practical. I don't care if you do CGI as long as it looks good. I think it's practical with a little bit of CGI to make it look better. Mm-hmm. But I see that. It, he he looked cool. He looked cool, and then man, it's so sad that the that actor passed away recently. The yeah, I don't I forgot his name. Um, but we saw more of him on this trailer. He also that's one of them who mentioned Anakin. Um, on on what else? Yeah. We got him. We got Ezra again. I know Ezra was in the in the other trailer. Ezra, Ezra spoke. Actually, he spoke in this trailer. He didn't speak in the first one. He we see right. the back of him, but we didn't. We got to see him. More. He spoke. We got the whole not the whole rebels gang, but we got a decent amount of rebels people in this in this trailer. So it was it was pretty cool. It was pretty exciting. We saw Ahsoka fighting. I mean, ultimately, I'm just. I'm excited, but but like I still have my guard up. I I think that's that's a good way to put it. Like I still got my guard up. I I feel like eh, they might they might ruin it, but I'm I'm excited. Yeah, same same thing. Like after after Obi Wan Kenobi, I am like you said with with the guard up. Anything that comes up after that. Because the expectations for Obi Wan Kenobi were not a hundred percent met until Darth Vader was on screen, because they kind of promised it was a Obi Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader type Maybe. of thing, or yeah, just, yeah. well, show, so. yeah, and not a Mandalorian type of thing. Not a Mandalorian part two. It was Mandalorian bootleg. It was literally a, an episode of Mandalorian. It's a 
a dude who didn't hit it, who didn't want to do the job, but still did it and and just rescue the child. Exactly, with a uh, with a bad guy who's black or in black <laughs> trying to stop it. Yep, pretty much. Pretty much, same thing. Copy and paste. <clears throat> Copy and paste, basically, but. We did get a Darth Vader Obi Wan scene that we've been waiting for, and we got an Anakin flashback. So, go watch the Reddit cut. Reddit cut is the way to go for Obi Wan. That's a good cut. Now, we got another trailer, the last trailer, and that's Blue Beetle. I didn't see it. Really? I'm done, bro. I'm done. I am done watching trailers for DC. You just watched the past two trailers. No, that's not DC or Marvel. I'm just watching the first trailer of every movie, but I'm not going to watch second or third or fourth or fifth or sixth and seventh, eighth, or TV spots and whatnot and whatnot because they show too much. And I have to learn my lesson. But you can speak about it, and I will... Gift. I will speak about it because Messi has his line of one trailer. My line is I'll watch all the trailers until you get to TV spots. Once you get to TV spots, I will not watch a single TV spot. That to me shows too much, but I'll still watch the trailers. Now, because that's my line, I can talk about this trailer. And I will say, first trailer of Blue Beetle. Mm-hmm. It was good. But it was like, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. It was nothing special. Well. Personally, for me, this trailer increased my hype for this movie. Interesting. I think this trailer was much better than the first trailer. Interesting. I don't know if the first trailer was a teaser or if it was an official one. I think it was an official one. But this trailer was much better. I was like, this is, okay, this is a Blue Beetle movie. The first one, I was like, this is cool, but it's kind of like a Power Rangers movie. This is like this is a Blue Beetle movie. So I'm excited. For, I, 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 I got I got more excited. I have a what? question, and I can bet you a hundred dollars. Mind you, I have not seen the trailer. And we talked about it before this, and I told you I was not gonna watch it because you told me to do a reaction. You posted it on social media. I said nope, I am not watching it. And to this point, I have not watched it. I'll bet you a hundred dollars. They showed the villain already. I don't think they did. They didn't show the villain at all? I don't think they did. I have to rewatch it. I only watched it once. And I was like, dang, this is pretty good. I don't think they did. You correct If you're watching out there and you're like, are you stupid? Obviously, they're showing in the first 10 seconds. So, my bad. <laughs> Look, it's been a long week. I mean, it's too much news. A cool movie. Uh, work is hard. It'd be like that, okay? It'd be like that. All I know is my hype for this movie went up. And I think that's a good thing. That Most of the thing. time, we'll watch additional trailers, especially for superhero movies and our hype, or shows, Star Wars, stuff like that. Our hype will kind of go down from the first one. Because... The hype just goes down. But I think for Blue Beetle, they did it better. And my hype went up. So that's all I have to say. I know Messi doesn't have to say anything. But that comes out August. So about a month from now. Yeah, it is the 12th. Comes out on Messi's birthday. I'm not watching it. He's going to watch it. I am not watching it. It's my birthday. It's a birthday movie. I'm not watching If I get it for free, then I'll watch it. Watch it for Friday. (laughs) <laughs> watch it anyways movie so yeah that, that's all the that's all the news that we got now 44 45 minutes into our episode we're gonna talk about mission impossible this is i told you there was so much news to talk about you could still listen to our episode and be okay mission impossible this is why it's not a bonus episode because there was news <sighs> okay all right okay quick first reaction what do you think about Mission Impossible? Mm. I told Danny. If you're listening, I told Daniel. I didn't want to see this movie. 
let me tell you why. I didn't want to see this movie because I feel a Mission Impossible does the same thing that Fast and Furious does. That's why I don't like Fast and, Fast, and, Fast and Furious movies because every movie they go, it sucks, sucks, sucks. But for some reason, Mission Impossible does the opposite. On the part, every movie comes out and it gets better and better and better. But the thing is, the, the reason why I say it's similar to the Mission Impossible movie and the Fast and Furious movies is because they just don't have an end. That's why I it's like it's the same thing. But Danny told me I had to watch it. I'm looking at the camera right now. I'm looking at you. If you're listening and watching this, I'm looking at you right now. Go watch this movie. It's gonna change your life. It's gonna change your life. This movie is so so It's not a popcorn movie. It is not a popcorn movie. You need to go pay whatever you have to pay to see this movie. This and you watch it in Dolby. I you watch, watch it in Dolby. For five bucks. If you have T-Mobile, go ahead on T-Mobile Tuesday right now. <laughs> That's right. T-Mobile sponsors because we're helping you out. Go ahead on T-Mobile. Get your $5 ticket and watch it in the highest possible movie you can see it in. I watch it in Dolby. IMAX stream. I don't know if it was the music. I don't know if it was the action. I don't know if it was the cast. I don't know if it was the acting. I don't know if it was Tom Cruise and his majestic hair doing stunts. But this movie is worth it. Do not skip the theater. Do not, do not, do not. Do not wait. Do not wait until the DVD. Do not wait until on freaking Paramount Plus. Get up and go to the theater and watch this movie. It is so that's, freaking good. That's all you need to know. Light on our podcast. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me just say this. My theater, I live, I live in a very, very, very small town. The closest IMAX theater to me, it's not even IMAX. It's a just Cinemark IMAX version. Is an hour and a half away. So I watch this in standard time because... I got a busy week this week, so I had to watch it. I had to watch it in my standard thing. I wished I watched it in Dolby. I would pay money. I don't. I don't pay money to watch every movie in Dolby because Dolby expensive. Dolby I wish expensive. I, I. I wish I watched this. Look, when Tom Cruise came out and was mad that uh, he wasn't getting like Dolby theaters, well, what, 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 IMAX theaters. He IMAX wasn't getting theaters. IMAX theaters because of uh, Oppenheimer and stuff like that. Granted. Oppenheimer needs to be an IMAX. But Tom Cruise needs as many IMAX theaters as humanly possible until Oppenheimer comes out. Yep. Because this movie is good. It is so good. Like Messi said, the cast, the acting, the music. Look, I don't, I don't go on my phone during movies. People that are on their phone during movies piss me off. I will, I will literally throw popcorn at you. I was on my phone during the movie for 10 <laughs> seconds because I texted Messi midway through the movie. I said, this mo- I freaking love this movie. I texted her mid-movie, and I don't, I don't text during movies because it pissed me off. I was like, this movie is just so freaking good. And it was. It was just so good. Yeah, I don't remember. I, he texted me, and I was like, dude, are you done with the movie? It's like, no, I just started. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> but I got two hours left. <laughs> I could watch a whole nother movie within the movie. It was a, basically a three hour movie. Almost three hours was the runtime. Yeah. This. I thought. Because I, I, saw, I saw a recap of, of the previous one before watching this one. And it had nothing to do. So if you haven't seen the previous one, you don't have to worry about it. There's just same, some characters in it that are, that are coming back and whatever. Um, but the, the last one was was a pretty good movie too, with um, Henry yeah, Cavill and all that stuff. Phenomenal movie. But this one just topped it. Somehow it gets better. Somehow it gets better every single movie. I can't since, wait for this second part. I can't wait. I think since four, it would get better every single time. And I think four was when they got the director that they have now, and he's been directing the movies ever since. So he did Ghost Reckoning, 
Uh, and not Ghost Reckoning. Ghost Protocol. Ghost Protocol is good. Fallout. The other one that was somewhere in there. And and then this movie. So he's done at least... This is his fourth movie. So the other three were not him. The first three were not him. But since then, it's literally just... It just somehow gets better. And we're going to talk about this later. But something that Tom Cruise and the director love to do... Fun fact, he was also... That director also was part of... He wasn't the director, but he was the screenplay writer for the flying movie. I Top forget. Gun. Top Gun. <laughs> Top Gun 2. He was the screenplay writer for Top Gun 2. So, Top Gun Maverick. Yeah. They, they, they're just the dynamic duo. The dynamic duo, and they tried to get a dope, like, a really cool stunt scene for every movie. So, uh, one was the helicopter scene for the last movie, which apparently took months to film. Yeah, when they jump, that the, scene was dope. When they jump, before that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That uh, the ghost protocol, I believe it was. Climbing the he tallest building. was. He, oh yeah, climbing the tallest building. Um, then the other one, he was on a plane. Yep. He was I holding onto the wing of a freaking plane. Tell me, tell me, who here listening is gonna do that? Tom Cruise. And risk their life like that. Tom Cruise. Risk their life. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise is probably a scroll. <laughs> there ain't no way. There ain't no way this man doing that. This man does not care if he dies. There's, this man does not care if he dies or he has superpowers. I think he is. <laughs> I think he is a scroll. Out of everybody in the whole world, I think he is the scroll. <laughs> if he anyone is, was a scroll, it would be Tom Cruise. It would be Tom Cruise. Dude. I. They. Okay. Every movie they promote the stunt. Because um, I saw an interview with Brandon um, Davis from comicbook.com. I think it was him. I think, yeah, I think it was him. He asked the director, um, he asked the director, do they um, make the stunt based on the movie or or the movie makes the stunt? Like, something like that. And the yeah. director said something like, um, oh my god, what he said. Um, I forgot what he said. I forgot what you, said. <laughs> you led him all this way to say that you forgot. I forgot. I'll look it up. Go ahead, Danny. Do you? Well, while he looks it up, the stunts. Oh my gosh! I don't want to talk. About, I'm just gonna talk about it right now. Talk about it, bro. Talk about I it. wish I saw. I wish I saw that stunt in Dolby that this stunt was in. Oh my god! You know what I love about practical effects and not even just practical effects uh, stunts you know what i love about stunts especially these especially these tom cruise stunts i felt it i felt it i wasn't just watching the movie and being and seeing someone jump off a plane and be like yeah that's cgi let me give you an example falcon and winter soldier falcon jumped off the plane and it was literally a plane on the ground, and he jumped onto a mattress that was like three feet under the plane. So he didn't jump off. Like, you basically, he basically stepped down the stairs from how, I mean, what was it, a three foot fall, maybe less? Yeah. So, like, <laughs> like you see the behind the scenes of that, and you're like, bruh. So you don't really feel it. You're just like, eh, it's just whatever. I like he jumped off the plane and you hear the wind you hear the and you see his face like flapping in the flapping in the wind you, you hear it because obviously the cameras are there fun fact the director said they did not have the cameras to film that scene like the they were not cameras with the proper technology to film that scene until a couple years ago crazy he said that um, and I, I just felt it like you just hear the silence. It was, like there was no music when he was falling. It was just like silence and then the wind. Like I felt like I was falling for some reason. I don't know. I saw him. I saw him jumping off that cliff. And I was like, who? I, I literally said out loud. Like it was almost silent in the theater, and I was like, holy shit! Oh, it was just crazy. I felt the weight of that jump. 
and I love that. I say it all the time, when I can feel the weight of something, whether it's emotional or physical, whatever it is, if I can feel the weight of a movie, I love when, it makes, when a movie makes me feel something. And that stunt made me feel something. And, I, and if I saw it in Dolby, oh my god. People clap in my theater. They did? People really? Clap. Yeah. That's cool. Okay, I want to talk to you about my, my movie experience for that scene specifically. People clap. But there is a moment of silence when he jumps. When he jumps, the whole, there's no, no sound whatsoever. Yeah. And all you see him Zero is falling. Sound. There is a person... Like, not even, probably like four, four or five seats to my right of a group of girls. We hate girls. Girls we are annoying. Girls. girls are annoying. They was, my, was silent, super silent. They started laughing so loud. They ruined that, that second. Bro. That second of, of perfection. Bro. By laughing out loud. Bro, I was so mad. I was livid, bro. I wanted to lie. Mm. <laughs> it was, it was, but then again, the sound came back in and then I forgot about it, but. It was majestic again, but majestic. dude, that bro, when you bro, the silence is crazy because you it just makes you feel it like you feel like you just jumped. Look, both you and me have been skydiving. We've been skydiving. We know that like that's real. like 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 yeah. your like your 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 breath gets taken away. That like first couple seconds that you fall, like. What is it? I think five, se- like five seconds or so before they pull the parachute. Yeah. So those first like few seconds is like, it's I don't even know how to explain it. It's, like you have to you have to be skydiving to feel that feeling. And <laughs> when you did it and you just when it was oh my gosh I can't believe they laughed like, wow. It was, it was it was yeah so annoying. I wait I can't believe we skydived. I completely forgot about that. We we you've been we, skydiving twice. I skydived. Tw- oh my god, I forgot about that. I'm a stunt man. Hey, uh, Tom Cruise, you want to hire me? I I jumped off a plane twice. I can I can't do it for the third time. Can you do it with the motorcycle? I would do it with anything. <laughs> I would do it. Shoot, to be in a movie with Tom Cruise. Oh my god, I'll give I'll give a kidney out. Um, okay. Let's let's dive into the movie now, because I, I let's not, let's dive into I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it. Um, okay, so let's, let's let's give the premise of the movie. New mission, obviously, a new mission impossible, uh, is a device AI device. We, you and I have been talking about AI so much recently. It was so crazy. That this it was so cool. This it was so AI. cool that that was the villain. I was like, bro. It's just so, like AI being. We have never seen AI as a villain. First well, off, I mean, I know you're not in the military. I'm obviously not going to spoil stuff or, because I'm not trying to begin in jail. All I'm going to say is <laughs> that movie got too real. That movie got too scary uh, because I know the things I know. And seeing that stuff, I was like, I was like, uh, yo. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this, they this, too getting, much. this movie knows too this much. Is, <laughs> <laughs> this is getting too real and scary because I already know the stuff I know, and I was like, "Bro, I wouldn't be surprised in a couple years if I if that if that happened at some point in our life in our lifetime because that was just absolutely Bro, crazy." Chat GPT, give it give it a few few more years. Noticing how dumb humans are, that's gonna take over. That's it. Done. Give Let me tell you something. Let me tell. You, I th- I told you personally, I believe, but the uh, the audience doesn't know. This is unclassified, so I can say this. I'm not going to jail. In this movie, the AI basically got too smart. It got too smart that it, the, the people were telling the AI to do something, and the AI just at some point was like, no. Psych. I'm going to do whatever I feel like doing. And yeah, that's basically the point. There was a exercise conducted a scenario where 
and a pilot, uh, a dr- someone, someone in the military, I don't know who, was using a drone or using telling an AI to fly a drone into a specific spot, and it told the AI, "Your mission is to take out whatever." Let's just say your mission is to blow up this box using this drone. As halfway through the mission, this is a fake mission, but scenario, the, the, the person conducting the, the thing canceled the mission. Basically said, AI, bring the drone home. Don't, don't do it. AI got pissed, basically. Ugh, AI God. said, no, I'm going to do my mission. And the person conducting the thing was like, no, you're going to come back. You're not doing the mission. Abort mission. AI got mad and basically simulated killing the person telling the AI to go home. Basically brought the drone back to wherever the person was and simula- like did a f- fake simulated kill. That's scary. AI getting f- f- quote-unquote feelings... I, you need like everyone needs to see this movie because this is getting too real. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is my thing with AI. AI is pretty scary because it's a it's a it's a computer with a human brain. You know how computers are like the is the biggest brain on, on the earth that has that has literally every single information of everybody and everything. Imagine it with a human brain on that. Like you said, it catches feelings. It's, it's, it, it learns. It, it gets smarter by the second and, and realizes that humans is the dumbest species in the whole world. <laughs> it's going to be like Terminator in this bit. Bro, Terminator Skynet, is coming, baby. Skynet, give it five years, bro. Skynet is going to be real. Bro. Okay, now, let's stop talking. I want to. I want to sleep tonight. Let me just. Wanna, let me just. I don't want a robot. I don't want a robot showing up in my bed. So like, yo, you talk too much. Let's go. <laughs> Hell no, bro. Oh, let's man. let's talk about this okay. movie. I will say, okay. in the very first couple scenes, besides that first intro scene with the submarine, I was like, huh, this is interesting. In the very first couple scenes after that, I was like, this is a little slow. It was kind of starting out a little slow. Then. Then it just, bro, it just kicked off. I'm telling you, I, w- I will say our final ratings in the end, but I'd say overall, as of the first half of the film, it's like a 9, 9.5. That was when I texted Messi. I was like, this, this thing is amazing. Like, it, w- it was just so good to me. The height of it was, was, the, was the airport scene to me. The height of it, like, airport scene was just the best scene in this, in this there in the like movie. There was, like, too much going on. Oh, my God. I was, it was just so much. And, oh my god, that scene was so good. It was so well done. And, oh and uh, let's just jump to the airport scene because that's that's when when st- she starts okay. getting real. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Before we jump into that, I do want to say uh, one of okay. So the movie's not perfect. It's super good, but there were some things that that bothered me on 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 some scenes, especially on the scene on the desert. On the beginning of the movie, I didn't. I wasn't a big fan of of the of the of that whole scene. One, I know for a fact they have the money, and I know they have um, the the coordinators and all that stuff, the stunt coordinators to to make sure a person when they're shooting a gun, they their body is reflecting it. And that scene, I didn't get that from mm. from the other people, from Tom, from Cruise and the, and um, um, the character Lisa, ex-wife. yeah, Le- yeah. Um, Lisa, that's the character. Um, they were fine, but every everybody else, they were shooting like 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 show off that you're actually shooting a real gun. They're not, they, yeah. I don't know. It, it was me. I think they could have been a little bit better on that on that part, and also some um, fighting part on the movie. That I, I don't know. I don't know if I John Wick and an uh, extraction. <laughs> That's spoiled. true. You did just watch John Wick and Extraction. Yeah. So I don't know if they like 
make me spoiled or like I want that type of fighting on every single movie. But the fighting was not what I was expecting on some scenes. Some mm-hmm. scenes were good. Some scenes were actually good yeah. fighting. But the airport scene was super good. Let's talk about it. All right, airport scene. Here's what's going on. Tom Cruise is trying to get is is basically trying to confirm this cross, this double key, which leads to the secret of ending this AI program, which the entire world is trying to get. Not surprised. Mm-hmm. Why not? Even America that we find out. Not surprised. Anyways, um, and he meets one of the most coolest people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> coolest people in Hollywood, uh, Haley Atwell. And they... The di- another dynamic duo and the cool like sleight of hand stuff that she was doing was really cool and s- basically she's just sh- she's a thief she's trying to she she stole the thing and then they had their interaction and meanwhile on comms his two best his two buddies um luther and benji yeah. i love benji so much i i just i there's just so many iconic scenes with Benji, but Luther and Benji are like telling him where to go, and they're using they're literally using AI because then there was another group trying to find Tom Cruise, and they're like, oh, he's right here, and they turn the guy around as a completely yeah, different guy because it, like it was just so cool, and so we already seen like different aspects of how cyber uh, cyber war- warfare is a thing. Um, I'm using military terms because whatever military terms, but that's what it is. It's cyber warfare, and so now they're on comms and they're like, "Do this, do that, do that." Now Benji sees this bomb thing and he's like, "Yo, I need to go do this." He leaves. Crazy thing is, AI is predicting this. AI knew he was gonna leave to come there. He opens the. Th- First off, the questions, we're all trying to get information about you. You know what else tries to get information about you? Literally everything. Yeah. Every time you take a quiz, oh, what house are you in from House of Dragons? Guess what? You just learned, they, uh, the computer just knows more about you now. It knows what's your favorite color. It knows what's, what's your personality like. Guess what? Yeah, 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 guess what? Yeah, computer knows more about you. Everything that's asking for information about you knows more about you now. So... It's like asking riddles and that's trying to learn more information about it. And, the, and the, it opens, thing is empty. And it says, you are done. And it was like his last name because it knew that he was going to be there and open the box. No, that crazy. just blew my... I was like, that was what? Crazy. It... <sighs> so many things. Especially from the the whole chemistry, um, I don't care. I don't know if this is a thing. Tom Cruise has a love interest or a new girl in every movie. <laughs> every chick is different, and I don't know why. But every time they get, they're more attractive. Every time it's like, damn. The next movie, <laughs> they just like, they oh just get God. better and better, and better and better and better. And they got Peggy Carter, bro. Like, if you if you know, you know. If you know, you know. That's, how, that's, that's all you gotta say. That's all I gotta say. She was great in this movie. I was not expect. I, I'm actually glad because all I've seen from her is Agent Carter and Captain America, and every time she's in involved, I haven't really seen her outside of that. I don't know. She she, she hasn't been on my radar yeah. on movie watching. So seeing her on this blew my mind. She, I think now she's one of the greatest actresses actresses right now she's she's, she's so great good she was phenomenal movie. um they tom cruise bro tom cruise got so lucky bro the chemistry be- between <laughs> them two is so cool um but what what i really love so much about this scene is the oh my god come on see how my i, for... I don't know why i keep forgetting work bro i keep forgetting work this is too special Come on, you know the word. So with the S. Suspen- Suspen- the the, yeah, su- the yeah. suspension? No, not the, we're not talking about cars. 
Suspense? Are you telling me suspense? There you go. The suspense. <laughs> the Bakai suspension. <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. Suspense. The suspense yeah. of, of this scene was really well done because there were so many things that we need the, to the outcome. One, there was a bomb. Two, the Americans were looking for um, Tom Cruise. Yep. Uh, freaking Grace, the um, Haley's character, was being a bitch. She was being she was being annoyed. She was throwing, she was stealing the key. Give the key. Steal the key. Give the key. Steal the key. Give the key. Tom Cruise was going after her, hiding from them, and also his. Work and enemy. you had the the two guys, the two people that were going after them too. Yeah, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel. No, 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 not Gabriel. Uh, I'm talking about the the two cops. Well, they weren't yeah, cops, the but the two. Yeah, there were Americans. There was two groups of Americans, though. There was two groups of Americans. There was like, well, the girl. I'm talking about the the white dude and the black guy, the two cops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, he yeah, had, yeah. They had like a whole army. But there was of also that rogue there. group. There was also that rogue group that uh, Guardians Guardians. Uh, yeah, that's the Guardians Gabriel's. girl was in. Yeah, that's Gabriel. Yeah, stuff. Gabriel stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's and Gabriel and Poe, Palm, 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 Palm. Yeah, she did great too. She did great in this movie. She did do good. She did good. She did great. Um, so, like, there were so many things going on. At, at, at the music. Oh, my God. I texted Danny. The music was good. I texted Danny. I love the score for this muse, for this movie. Every scene with the, the, had a whole different soundtrack for, for every scene. And, and, and it was so perfect because the music made it. Even more suspenseful. More suspenseful. Yep. And, and, and like I was, I was, I, you know. Okay, I went to Dolby. Dolby got those, those, those coffee and shit. Are <laughs> you like, oh yes? I was down like that. I was in the edge of my seat, waiting to. I don't know what that was gonna happen. I don't know. The the freaking airport's gonna blow up. This place is gonna get cat catch, and the the Americans gonna get the. So many things was going on in the scene, and it was so done so perfectly. I love this. And then when he saw Gabriel in the glasses, and, and they then, went like this, and then he wasn't in the glasses, I was like, "Oh my gosh!" But there was just so much going on in that scene. Like that was the peak of the movie. Granted, the the rest of the movie was good, but that was like the peak of the movie. Like it was just so much going on. I was like, "Oh my god, bro!" Honestly, for some reason, like in the back of my mind, I knew that bomb, well, bomb was gonna be deactivated. But I was like. Three, when they were like four Dude. seconds left, bro. I was on the edge of my seat. I even, I even screamed. I was like, ah! like I, I, don't, I don't make noises, <laughs> bro. When he got like that last minute, the last thing I was like, ah! and then, and then, nothing happened. I just got so I was literally that edge of my seat. I don't do that that often. Oh my god, it was, guys, guys, guys. Y'all have to watch the scene. It was so good. Okay. <laughs> My my other scene that I really love was the scene, and this is the part that I text to you because of the music. Was the the hallway fight and the really tight hallway fight between Tom Cruise, Palm, and the other security guy, mm. and also the brick fight between Grace and Gabriel, and also Grace and um, Gabriel yeah. and Lisa that joins after, and then she dies. In, the, in that part, but that scene I really love because of the music. I honestly cannot find the song. I am looking for that song so bad because of how good it was. And again, a couple seconds before that scene happened, he said because the AI, this is when they explain this scene that explain how it works. The AI controls everything. The AI hires Gabriel. The AI is telling everything to Gabriel. At this point, Gabriel's a minion to the AI. Yeah. And, it, and he explains how everything works. And everything is predicted. Everything knows, The AI knows every single outcome that's going to happen. And it predicted right. He said, one of you two going to die. Yep. And I was like, no, they, no they're not. They're not going to die. And he was right. The prediction was right. That was crazy. That prediction was right. Um, I was like, that's when that that part. That's when I. That's when I was like, dang. 
that's like so and so. I predicted before this movie going in, being a part one, I'm like, someone's probably going to die, yeah. make the stakes higher. I thought it was going to be Benji. Just I I, personally, I, I forgot about his ex wife. I'm going to be real. I forgot about his ex wife, even though she's literally in every single film because it's his ex wife. But so it was really crazy that she died because. I mean, she's a big storyline throughout all seven movies. But I thought it was going to be Benji, which I was going to be really sad about because he almost dies in every movie, too. Like, I yeah. still remember the very <laughs> last scene when he had the suicide, the, the, the bomb strapped to his chest. Yep. I believe that was Mission Impossible 5 uh, or 5 or 6. No, because 6 was the last one. So it must have been 5. And he had the bomb strapped to his chest, and they, I think they were in Paris. It was a crazy scene. And before this with the whole you are done and then he was like oh what's most important to you your friends and stuff like this like i don't know i just got this feeling that benji was gonna die but then he said it's gonna be one of you two and i was like damn that's crazy like, it's gonna be one of them which i i had a feeling it was gonna be lisa because she was the more like she had more meaning to tom cruise yeah. but i felt like there still could have been a possibility for for Haley. too bad i think I think she is a bigger story. I think, I think, after this trilogy, if this is the done, they're done with the trilogy. I think she's gonna be taken over. That did I did think that at some point towards the end when they were talking about like, oh, you can, you're joining now type of thing. And Tom, Tom, they said this part two. Is there three parts? I thought there was only two parts. I I don't know if there are three or two. I'm probably- uh, okay. It's just part two then. Uh, this part two is Tom Cruise's end of of Mission Impossible. His end. They didn't say it's the Mission Impossible end. They just said it's his end. So she could be taken over if if they decide to continue Mission Impossible after after that. I I, I will see it uh, if if they continue. She and I, she was really good. She was really good. I think she's gonna she's gonna she get together. Um. She is the worst driver <laughs> ever. I'm not saying because she's a woman. Don't get me wrong. Some guys cannot drive. But she is the worst driver ever. I don't get it. It's hard to drive when you're being chased by freaking killers. But, okay. we seen... Other movies being like chase scenes on cars. They don't destroy many cars. That's bad. She did. I I don't did when they kept on going in a circle. That, that was, was pretty funny. That was funny. That was pretty funny. Oh my god. She is a bad driver though. She's a bad but driver. But she was also handcuffed too. Before she was handcuffed, she was driving. She oh, took, you're right. She was she, driving when she escaped. She escaped from the police and from the police um, plaza, and then she took the cop car. She's a pretty mm. bad driver. But ultimately, whatever, whatever. she'll learn. Yeah. But so, anyways, it was it was just cool seeing this AI predicting every single thing. Like he's like, oh, and the key is gonna fall. Right in front of me, like right on my uh, to my feet, and then at the very end, key falls at his feet. I'm like, oh, bro, my God. this this AI stuff be crazy. Um, the train scene. Okay, so he jumps off the thing. No, there was only there was a couple very minor minor things I didn't like. Him when he jumped off, super awesome scene, greatest scene ever, but. Hits the exact spot where that guy is on the train about to kill so, yeah, Haley. That was too... This big train, he doesn't know where she is. It's not like he was aiming for that specific spot. He doesn't know specifically where on the train she is. And hits that specific spot at that specific time. I was like... Bad. <laughs> <laughs> on a train going over 100 miles per hour. That's too much plot convenience. That's too much plot convenience. I hate plot convenience, but that was like that was like too much. Plot I think I think it was done out of comic relief because it was pretty funny. It was he, pretty funny. He landed right there 
on him. And then his reaction trying to get up. It's like, like not knowing what's going on type of thing. Yeah. Uh, it was just uh, mostly for comic relief. Um, but that, that jump was crazy. The jump leading up to the train and the whole train. The thing about the AI that, that, um, that his Luther's character, um, he predicted it. He predicted it. He predicted that the AI knows that the only person that could stop the AI is Tom Cruise. Yeah. And he said there's two outcomes that could happen in the train when he goes there. One, he kills Gabriel. And I forgot the other one. But the, the other AI, two, the other one is that he just fails. They, the, yeah, they, they, he, the key was... Um, with Gabriel, he predicted it. It was he was right until one second that the AI did not predict it. It was that Tom Cruise is a magician. We saw him do tricks in the whole movie, doing magic tricks with um with Grace. Yep. And then he just. Got the key, ha ha. Learned, he learned his he learned magician magician powers from from Haley. But uh, something about oh my gosh, there's just so much so much to talk about. So let's go with a couple scenes. One was the con. You you're talking about that scene, the whole bridge scene, and Tom Cruise being in that. How about before he got there, the comms replicating Dude. the voice. Which so... we've talked about off air on before that AI has actually replicated people's voices and, and it could sound exactly like you. So that's creepy. But it, when, when that... that happened, I was like. That, uh, that's, that part was so creepy because we have seen it done already, even on TikTok with uh, the AI mimicking Drake and The Weeknd. That song. On, 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 I forgot the name of the song, but that was not them. Drake and The Weeknd had to take it down from TikTok because that song was being so popular, but it was not them. It was AI. That Man. is so creepy. That was crazy. That's so scary. Uh, Tom Cruise somehow still running faster than Usain Bolt uh, at whatever age he's <laughs> at, 62. Bro, this man be running fast in every movie that he's in. I don't know how old he's in. I know you can't. You're not. You're not uh, CGIing him running. This dude, like this dude is flying. You just he this dude needs lot. to be on a uh, track and track and field freaking <laughs> team. I think he trains. He has to be training every day. He has to have this this consistent training because this dude ran. A lot on this movie. Yeah. And very fast. On the airport, he went from one side to the other side in 10 <laughs> seconds. I'm like, how is it possible? Make it make sense. He. This dude be booking it. Do it. But something, I don't know if you noticed this. I'm jumping all over the place because I never looked at my notes that I had for this movie and now I'm looking at my notes. So I <laughs> could, didn't go in the order that I wanted to go in. But. Intro credits. I don't know if you noticed, but it was basic. There was a lot of scenes from previous movies. However, I there was a lot from this movie. Yeah. And I and as they were playing, I was like, I wonder if they're basically showing the whole movie, but it's going so fast that you can't tell. I knew there were certain scenes. I was like, that I saw in the trailers. I was like, this part, like we're gonna see this later on. But I don't. I wonder if if you slowed it down, it's like the entire movie. I don't think so because there is some graphics in there. So I don't think it's like the whole movie. I think it's just the important scenes of the movie. Well, I'm not saying the whole movie from beginning to end, but like the important scenes, the important scenes of the movie from beginning to end. Like I think there was probably some end scenes that were in those credits. Probably, that yeah. And you couldn't see because it was just so fast. Yeah, I I noticed that too. Like, okay, so I saw that. I thought that was cool. Movie. I was like, this is kind of cool. Yeah, but like if you really pay attention to it, that means you got spoiled the movie. Yeah, but you also didn't know what was gonna like. 
you can't tell. Movie. You don't know if that's in the middle or if that's in the end of the movie because you've never seen the movie yet. I guess. But it was it was in, it was interesting. Um, a cool scene that I liked, emotional scene. I, like I said, I like when things hit hard. Was when Tom Cruise was talking to to what's her, what's her name in the movie? I always say hey, Grace. When Tom Cruise, Ethan was talking to Grace in the scene before they actually do the whole train and all that stuff. And she was like, you don't even know me. And he's like, I can promise you, your life will always matter more than my own. I wrote it down because I was like, that was so deep. Because that's, that's the essence of all these Mission Impossible movies. Is that he's o- he always quote unquote goes rogue. But really, he's just putting everybody's life ahead of his own. And everyone else is just selfish or doesn't know that he's that someone could actually be so selfless to do something like that. They think he's gone rogue and that he's the bad guy. But they didn't it, mention it, that. Like, I, that just that just hits so hard. Is that because I saw I, I saw Grace getting like teary eyed. She didn't she didn't tear up, but I, 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 saw. I saw the eyes like starting to glisten and I was like Man, that hits hard because I'm sure there's people out there that we don't even know that are probably doing that. I mean, you could say the military, but I'm saying outside of like common things, that, that, that there's probably very selfless people out there, probably spies, I don't know, that are just like literally risk everything. And I just thought it was, it was cool. It, to me, it, it helped. It did. It, it hit. It was a pretty emotional scene. Uh, but. Uh, I think that's something you mentioned that um, that he goes rogue and all that stuff. The two cops, the the American ones, they did talk about that. Um, the I guess the new guy, the black guy, he was to talking to the white guy. I don't know their names. I'm just <laughs> black guy, white guy. If you get offended by that, I'm sorry, but I don't know their names. Um, those people. The I think the black guy was a new newer one than the other guy, and he was like, "Yeah, why are we like why are we going against Tom Cruise and all that stuff? Like, we don't know why he's doing this." And they were talking about the AI saying that, "Oh, what will you do if you had this much power?" And the newer guy's like, "This is too much power for one person to have. This is too much responsibility." And then you yeah. always be a target because someone will always be like, I will light that power. So he sees the what Tom Cruise is doing, but he doesn't know it yet. He see he thinks that Tom Cruise is doing this to stop it and no one should get this power and stuff like that. And that's what he has to, what he is actually doing. But the other guy, the white guy, he goes, dude, he does this all the time. He goes rogue. He becomes a terrorist. And every movie. So, like, we don't care. We just follow orders and, and, and do what we have to do. And I think they're going to continue that, that the mentality of, of, of the younger guy. Because by the end of, like, all the battle and they're fighting and stuff like that, the other guy, the other, the other guy, he's like, okay, I see what you're doing as well now. So I think they're they're yeah. they're becoming more open minded than being this soldier boy following orders. Um, so I think the next movie, the team is gonna be bigger. Yeah, I can see that. It, it might take some time because they're still trying to get Tom Cruise at the very the very very end um, before he escaped in the parachute. But I could see I could see the team getting bigger. What was cool was when they noticed that. There was an Amer- the American dude making the deal on the train. And he's like, what? What are you doing here? He's like, I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here. And then the end, when they're moving everyone to the back of the train, and he's like, what's going on? He's like, I don't know, because you're not here. I was like, yeah, that's right. You're not here. Some of my nuts. That's what I would <laughs> It was just so funny. It was like a, it was a clap back. I, I just thought that was cool. But... Um, Another another gripe I had. This was a minor gripe. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about my gripes now before okay. before I get to what's next of what's next for Mission Impossible. So about my gripes. I had I have two more gripes 
and that is Benji. This whole movie is about AI and technology, mm-hmm. cyber. Benji, which I understand, but also in the car before Tom Cruise goes to jump off the plane, puts the car on auto drive. Meanwhile, you got this AI hacking into every technology system they're using, (laughs) went into their comms, went into everything else, and you're going to put the car on auto drive? (laughs) Bruh. The AI goes, oh. (laughs) (laughs) Bruh, I was like, like, Benji, what are you doing? I was ready for, like, the AI to take over the car. Uh, I was just ready for it. And it didn't happen, and I was like, but still, Benji, what are you doing? Like, you can't, you can't be doing that. <laughs> not, not in this day, not in that day and age. No, nah, they can't trust technology at, at, at no point. And I didn't, I didn't think about it at all until now. You, it's like, okay, the AI could have literally get on the car and be like, okay, you die now, and just go off. It could have. That's how I was like, what are you doing? But whatever. Uh, another thing was, while I loved the scene where the bridge blows up and Tom Cruise and Haley Atwell are trying to like get to a safer part of the train, that was that was high stakes when she, when she had to jump across before the piano was about to fall down. Yeah. Oh my! Like that was another part. Where it was like, oh! like yeah, yeah, just. <laughs> Like, I know she's not going to get crushed by this piano. I know. But the movie makes, like, it just made you feel the stakes. And I felt like when she jumped, I was like, ah! And she didn't jump. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I was the only one that, that I think I was the only one that made a noise in my theater. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not, I'm not sorry. But I think the I think CGI I know. of the train, when you could see it, like, falling and like you see like fire and all this it, the, the CGI at that specific part of the movie did not look good it just looks so fake okay i i thought you were going to talk about something else on that the when they were in the kitchen and all the stuff was flying around it just looked fake honestly that didn't it was even cool. bother me it didn't even bother me at fake. all you know what bothered me on that scene what when Palm showed up out of nowhere. Oh, at the very end? Yeah. Even though she was already stabbed like half an hour ago? Yeah. I Okay, one. The train is like that. That piece of the train is already like about to fall. Yeah. Right? She was not there at all. So she was like, okay, let me keep walking that direction. And we're like, oh, they're down there. Let me go help them out. And then climb down, da 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 da, and then grab them at exactly at the second that he was going to fall. I didn't, I didn't think about that, but you're right. That that that, that is why. She took plot convenience, like you said, plot <laughs> convenience. Um, yeah, that I was she, like, I, she came out of nowhere. Out of I nowhere. think she did good, but I also, you know, what she didn't like. Life? Her character that much. She gave me a vibe of Harley Quinn. Harley of, of, Quinn. Yeah, no, 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 not in the comedy or acting wise. It's just the fighting style of it. Like it gave me a very oh, Harley Quinn. Yeah. Vibe. Like she could have been like she is. She is up for it. I think she will be a cool Harley Quinn. Like fighting I style. That. I don't. The I didn't like that it, she didn't talk the whole movie. I mean, she did talk just in, in her language. The very, very end. No, she saw she she talked to her in her language. When? Uh, in the. The only time she talked was when she was about to die. No, she did. That talk. was the first words that she said. No, she did talk. She talked on the car chase when they were driving the yellow car. Like she was screaming to herself. Before... Screaming is not talking. No, like she was talking to herself in her language. And also on, mm. I forgot. But I mean, she her character was uh muscles. She was a muscles in the movie. I guess that's true. I I I, I liked her character. I like what they did. 
I like how she did it. I think she should have been shown less in the movie. I honestly did not mind her at all. I think she did great. She did do great. I I just would have liked to see her character still less. in the movie, <laughs> just, less. just less less of less screen time. I, I I think there was a little bit too much screen time for that character and that character's purpose. But that's just me. Maybe it's just because there was so many people coming at Tom Cruise. I think she was one that, of them. That I just, yeah, that she was one of them. I just felt like there had to, there had to be less. I don't know. Maybe because it was just so much. But it wasn't bad. It was just a minor gripe. I, I just think that she could have been in there a little less. My last thing that I have to say. So, end scene. Uh, Tom Cruise gets the key. He escapes. Meets up with Benji. Yep. And that's, bas- that's basically the movie. And we'll see what happens next. Interesting that... Um, the heroes won, I guess, in a part one. I wasn't expecting that. I honestly expected Gabriel to have the key at the end of the film. But he didn't. So that was interesting. But what's next for Mission Impossible? Here's my theory. This wasn't confirmed. Half of this is confirmed. Tom Cruise said he wanted to do a scene for a movie in space. I do remember that. You do remember that. That is, that is a confirmed thing. He said he was going to do it, and that he, like, it's basically set in stone already. Kind of. Obviously, there's a lot of moving parts to take someone up to space, but <laughs> that's not an astronaut. But uh, it's just, it's, he wants to do it. I think that's the major stunt for this, 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 his last movie, his last Mission Impossible main character movie, his last stunt. How do you get bigger than the stunts that he's had? Space. And it's going to be better than Fast and Furious Space. Fast and Furious Space is cheeks. It's straight crap. And even the plot of them being in space was crap. I didn't even watch the movie from how bad it was, but I know what happened, and I know it's just so bad. Like we said, Tom Cruise movies just these movies just get better and better. This next scene is going to be in space. That would be cool. It's my theory. It's my theory. That would be. I hope if they actually do it, I live. And we're talking about real space, not to see like space. To think, to even think about that, seeing an actor. Okay. It's space in a movie. I think if they do it, it will be like, like one to a hundred. And the reason I want to say that is because they were on Earth. They were on Earth in the last movie. They were on Earth, regular planes, regular what. It took them almost 30 days or 30 days plus to shoot the skydiving scene with Henry Cavill and him falling from the plane and all that crap. Took almost a whole month <coughs> to get that scene right. Because they they had to time it right because if you remember the scene, it's like a sunset type of scene. Like there's a sun, sunset goes in thirty yeah. minutes. They're like there's no, there's no sun. Stay there. There's no such thing. And they like you know Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise wants everything to be realistic. That's why he does his own stunts. Take that into cons- um, consideration and put that in space. How they have to do it in one take. Yeah, and it, it has you, to be get, you don't get mud, you don't like, get thirty takes. I don't. They have to do it and have to do it. Perfectly, a hundred percent up there. One mistake, that they're done. One, that's it. Yep. One mistake and they're done. They have to redo yep. the whole scene again, and then guess what? They have to. I don't know. I don't know what they have to do to make it happen. But I know it ain't cheap. I know it ain't cheap going on space. I know it ain't you're cheap. Not, you're uh, not. You're not doing. You're not putting a second rocket up there. You're, I, you I got know. one rocket. You got one rocket. 
And that's it. You're not putting a second rocket up there. Rocket's like a bill, like billions of dollars. I mean, if he's paying for it, by all means, Tom Cruise, I, you probably have the money. But I don't think Paramount will go for it. I don't think no. Paramount. I don't think Paramount will go for a space scene. Uh, they will. They will probably CGI it. Or do something crazy just like how they did on Top, um, Top Gun. Tom Cruise's net worth is $600 million. He does not have enough for a rocket. Look at that. He does not even make enough for a billion dollar rocket. Or, or what if the uh, Average man- billion dollar launch is about... Hold up. It says... Okay, so this specific... This specific launch was four point one billion dollars. What launch was that? Uh is it was the most recent launch that Elon Musk is uh SpaceX went up in there. Talking about him, I was I was literally gonna mention Elon Musk. What if Tony Stark live action <laughs> Mr. Musk himself, Twitter, Mr. Twitter here, suing threat. Pays because for the he, rocket. He pays for the rocket. He just said Tom Cruise here. Promote SpaceX on the biggest movie ever, bro. That's that's like that's like. It's it's not even like I I, try, I was gonna compare it. I'm still going to compare it, but, like, this is, like, not even the same level. Oppenheimer basically not doing a real nuke, but basically doing a real bomb. Because there's zero CGI shots in Oppenheimer. So basically doing a real bomb. Not even that compares to, the, to, to, to space. To space. Nothing compared. You, there's nothing cooler than going to space. Earth is so boring that we have to create rockets to get out of it and go to space. Yep. There's nothing cooler than that. There's nothing you you will be remember forever if you leave Earth. The first actor legacy. to ever go to space. And be recorded forever with good quality cameras. That movie is going to be remembered forever. Forever. Not just the first actor, first movie, first director to record and spit. Like, like it's first everything. And the thing is, if he, if he goes up there, it's not himself going up there. Unless the dude just GoPros yep. and, and, and on his thing. Then he cameraman. They need a director up there. Unless the, the cameraman knows what he's doing by himself. Like it might just be GoPros. I think GoPros. Ba, 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 ba. How they did on Top Gun when he was on the plane. Yeah. That scene was cool. Tom Cruise flew that plane. Yeah. I not know. not to that not to that like extent. Obviously, like extent, but he flew the plane. I know he did. Tom Cruise is a scroll, I'm telling you. <laughs> Bro, Tom Cruise is a scroll. I, I, I confirmed. But look. I mean that's all I have that's all I have to say about the movie. I don't I don't know if you have anything else to say. That's all I have to say. I'll say my last my last thing of this movie. AI is the real villain of this movie. And it will be the real villain of us eventually in real life as well. The shit you is scary. First. Yeah. The shit is the shit is scary. I know it's it's like fictional and whatever. But it's, it's not, not fictional. It's not <laughs> fictional in a couple of years. Or probably now. Like this like I said, Chad GBT knows so much, like you can create anything with it. It's so crazy. Um But I am giving this movie a eight out of ten. The reason it's not a nine or a ten, because there's some stuff and it's not perfect. But I agree. This is an 8 out of 10 movie. I also give this an 8 out of 10. And I, I was going back and forth between 8 and 8.5. I'm going to just stick with an 8. But I will say 
this, look, this is a phenomenal film. It has its, 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 its gripes, mainly for me, in the second half of the film. But that first half, awesome. that first half is a 9, 9.5, like, overall as a film. There was some short, some, some slow parts in the beginning, like Messi was talking about the sand scene and stuff like that. But overall, that first, like, like I said, peak was the airport. That, like, when the airport scene was finished, I was like, this is a 9, 9, 9.5 movie. And then, and then it went down. But it was still really, really good. It was still really, really good. Uh, Tom Cruise stunts crazy. Uh, but this, just because we give it an eight does not mean it's a bad. Like this, this is a this is a good eight. It's <laughs> like, it's, it's mostly like a ten out of ten. Without those those little stuff, that we just we have high. St- I have high standards for my ranking, my ratings of yeah. movies. I know, I know, we haven't done so in the past with some some seven. Some I would, I'm pretty sure we gave Black Adam an eight, and that's a disgrace. The Did fact that we eight? we gave Black Adam no we, we gave it a seven we gave it a seven we gave it a seven. I think it. I remember. We, I took that. that but range. but still, is it, we're changing we're changing the way we do our ratings we're to maturing. be more realistic to, to be more realistic. We're maturing. We're becoming movie people, and this this isn't is a good eight. Like eight is eight, eight under IGN terms means great. Nine is outstanding, and, and ten is like, it's perfect. Uh, is is a great film. Watch so it. if you watch, watch it, it well, uh, you probably already watched it because we just went full spoilers in. But yeah. <laughs> watch it again if you haven't seen it in Dolby. Watch it in Dolby. Five dollars Tuesdays. T-Mobile. Uh, yeah. So th- next week. We'll be talking about Secret Invasion. Oppenheimer comes out. No, we will not be talking about Secret Will we? We might be talking about Secret Invasion. And Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer comes out. We will be a guest on Lights, Camera, Action podcast. So be ready for that. It's going to be fun. Go watch Oppenheimer. That also needs to be in Dolby or IMAX. IMAX. The IMAX. highest screen the highest IMAX. screen that you could possibly watch it in. So with that, you can find me at Danny42. Three ends. Two is taken. I am private. Let me know you're not weird. Or AI. Please don't be AI. If AI is trying to follow me, we're doomed. Pretty sure they're following you already. But, um, as you know, at MessyDa17 underscore, find me on Instagram. If you don't want to follow us individually, you can always follow us on Instagram at Unqualified Heroes. We are on Instagram, TikTok, now on Treads. Not Twitter. Twitter sucks. We stopped using Twitter because we just don't know how to use it. Um, because we're old. Yep. Whatever. But to listen to our full episodes, how you, you've been here so long. You, if you got to this point, thank you for listening. Um, we're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and on YouTube. So listen, like, share, and also comment on our stuff. Let us know on what you agree on what you disagree and. Let us know if you see the if you saw the movie, give us your rating. What your rating is. Yeah. So there you have it. Unqualified heroes! Oh.